We're joined now by John Solomon, award-winning investigative reporter, editor-in-chief of Just the News. John, great to have you with us. Thank uh, you, Luke. I, I've got to start. I've got to start with John Durham. Yeah. You and I have talked about this. Uh, this show has been pointing out that this this judiciary, this Justice Department is slowly rolling the American people. It isn't just the radical Dems on Capitol Hill. Yeah. This is a major act, in my judgment, of treason. Uh, and I mean not, not in a legal sense, but they're betraying the damn country. Uh, and it's nothing less than that. The idea, as they floated out today, that John Durham would not have a, an investigation ready by the end of the summer, as the Attorney General himself suggested strongly that uh, they would do, uh, it now may fall to uh, after the election. That is criminal. That is just criminal, in my opinion. I want to yeah. hear yours. Yeah, listen, I, I, I've seen a lot of activity over the last three or four months showing that they're building a criminal case. I think there's going to be a split the baby sort of solution here, uh, and that is that there may be some actions around Labor Day, a handful of indictments or a plea bargain that comes out that begins to tell the story. But there is a little bit of a rope-a-dope going on. The, pro the, the case has slowed down a little bit. Uh, and uh, I think they're sending flares that this is going to carry in past the election. I still think, based on the, the, the evidence I'm seeing, actual activity, mm -hmm. witnesses being interviewed, talk, documents being changing hands, that there is, there is still mm -hmm. the possibility of some indictment, some criminal action in September. And, you know, some of the excuses we hear don't make sense. We hear, all right, there was COVID, there aren't grand juries. Well, a grand jury was able to indict Giselle Maxwell in New York just last week. It can't be that hard uh, to get this done. And certainly, Lord knows the evidence is standing in uh, public. We, the, the case has already been made in public. Well, I mean, what we're really hearing from the, this attorney general and this Justice Department is that this isn't a priority, to know who tried to overthrow the president of the United States, to hold accountable Justice Department officials, uh, intelligence community officials, and uh, department and agency leaders within that IC. Uh, and frankly, how many people in the White House were involved, how many people in the White House were actually controlling Spygate? Sure. Uh, and the greatest scandal in this country's political history. I, I mean, this is a nonsensical, as you put it, this is nonsensical, that uh, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell is more damn important than getting to the root of a, a massive political corruption in the federal government? My God, man, this, well. is, this is outrageous on every level. Yeah, listen, I talk to people all across the country who are scratching their heads, wondering what's going on. I do believe that the attorney general has made this a top priority. I, I've seen the actions of John Durham. I do see a lot of activity. He's been digging in. But remember, they still rely on the same bureaucracy that gave us these first cases. And I think there's a little bit of a rope-a-dope going on in the bureaucracy, and it's time for the leadership of the Justice Department to take control, set a deadline, and get it done. Well, let, let, let's talk about... <laughs> the bureaucracy. Uh, the, the deep state extends, obviously, to the Supreme Court. Uh, this, these decisions today on making available to the DA of Manhattan, uh, Cy Vance, a left winger uh, in absolute coordination and orchestration with the radical Dems on Capitol Hill, can uh, proceed with a subpoena of the accounting firm for the president and get his tax records and the Supreme Court ruling at the same time, Congress cannot. I mean, who the hell do they think they're kidding? They're one and the same. They are some head scratchers, right? Uh, and uh, I think the good news for the president. But you've got is, a lot of head scratching going on, John. I, I do. I, I I have, I'm losing my hair because of, of it. <laughs> I have a lot of agita. I am yeah. so sick of looking at this uh, you know, nonsense and people saying, well, you know, what the hell, we'll catch it next quarter or we'll do something maybe next year. Yeah. Who the hell is this Justice Department to say it takes this long to do a damn investigation? They have yeah. killed every investigation, killed every opportunity at getting to the truth, and we're damn fools to put up with it, in my judgment. You're, uh, that let's go that on with the, the yeah, damn courts. The, the frustration is legitimate. I understand it because I hear it from lots of people in many different corners. I just came back from the middle of America, Wisconsin, where I heard a lot of this, which is, why does it take so long to get these issues resolved? Why can't you get the people's business done and move on and bring people to justice? Hasn't happened. It, the judiciary, do you believe it's as corrupt as every other part of uh, the Justice Department? Uh, 
uh, and the FBI? Well, listen, I think all of our institutions that used to be apolitical have shown increasing signs of politics, whether it's Pete Strzok's emails, Judge uh, Emmett Sullivan's rope-a-dope and not dismissing the case against uh, Flynn. Uh, you're seeing institutions that used to be apolitical now dripping with politics, and that's bad for the future of America's democracy. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. You know, uh, we've, been, we've seen a lot of people in the streets here lately. Uh, I, I'm thinking it's starting to look like all Americans are going to have to get in the street to get uh, to be taken seriously. Uh, it, it's really asinine to see what we are witnessing with the left-wing media trying to control speech and thought, uh, the left in this country trying to dismember this uh, great nation of ours, and people sitting around going, well, what the hell? You know, maybe we'll figure it out in time. Uh, it, it's it's well, time now, I believe, John. I the hope American you do people as well. have the American people have the ultimate weapon. When they go to that ballot box in November, or when they mail in their ballot in September, they have a chance to take back their country. And I think that the, that is what this election is yeah. about. It's a choice about the America that we've come to love and enjoy and prosper in, and an America that will be run by anarchists. And I think that that's what's what's at stake in this election. Yeah. An anarchist, uh, they might as well be anarchist, all the people wanting vote by mail instead of uh, uh, following a, an election filled with uh, both safeguards and integrity. John Solomon, as always, good to talk with you. I feel all better.